Setting the current layer. I can go into my Layers Properties dialog box and I can highlight any layer I want to be current. And I can go up and set the current button to be set current. Now this makes this layer the current layer or the layer I draw on. Um, I could go in here and right click and say set current. And that will also set it to be the current layer. And if I double click on it, that will also set it to be the current layer. So there's multiple ways to set the layer current. You'll see also in the layers uh, panel, there's a drop down uh, list. This drop down list shows all the layer names. The layer that is showing is the current layer. Now, let's just say, uh, we haven't learned this yet, but let's just say I come in here, oops, I want to do this, and I pick on this and make a dimension. And then I realize that, oh, I didn't draw this dimension on the dimension layer. I drew it on the object layer. I can simply pick on it, and then I come over here and switch it to the object layer. And now it's it will be on the object layer. And so at any time we can switch items from one layer to another. Uh, and we'll see this more in use as we start changing the properties. Um, but right now, uh, I like to use this because you can see what layer is current without having to go in the dialog box uh, at this point in time. And all I have to do is pick which layer I want. If I want to make a center layer, for example, or a object layer, a construction layer, I'll switch it to dimensions. Now I should be drawing only dimensions. So in this case, then I'll come over here and I'll say, ah, I want to put a dimension in. Now it's on the proper layer. Now I want to draw an object. I want to drill another hole. I need to switch it to my object layer and drill another hole. And now that is on the object layer.